Thank you for joining us. Happy Friday to you. Psalm 22 has several predictions about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, a thousand years BC. And in this particular one, it says that uh, the men on the ground that had uh, gotten him turned over and wrongfully crucified were accusing him, saying, if he's really the son of God, then let him come down from the cross. Let God rescue him if he delights in him. And that was uh, quoted in Psalm 22a. You know, it's interesting. It also says that uh, the thieves on each side of him were deriding him. But then later, one of the thieves changed his mind. In Luke's account, finally that thief looked across the way and said, we deserve what we're getting, but this man has done no wrong. And then it says, he said more than once to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this day you shall be with me in paradise. And so that thief who in faith called upon the Lord Jesus Christ was justified, forgiven of all of his sins, and that day went to paradise with Jesus. You know, he went from believing one thing to believing another. You, you don't ever start out believing nothing. Everybody believes something. I remember in a philosophy class that I had in college, there were about, oh, I would say 200 people in there, and the man that was leading the class, it was the first day, and he said, raise your hand, I'll call on you, and tell me your philosophy of life. And this one guy raised his hand, and he said, I don't ever think about my philosophy on life. I just do, I just do what I feel. I don't ever think about things. I just do what I feel like doing. An unthinking feeler was what the guy was. But you realize that's a philosophy too. His philosophy was, I'm not going to think. I'm just going to go with my feelings. But it's still a philosophy. Everybody believes something. And when you become a Christian, you go from believing one thing to believing another thing. And the thief on the cross, one of them, next to Jesus, started out thinking one thing, and then his thinking was changed. That's why when we talk about being saved, we don't just say you were saved. We say you were converted. What do you believe about Jesus? Do you believe it strongly enough to act upon it? If so, you'll be converted. As a matter of fact, born again. God bless you. All done.